Super Bowl goals. My wife in the crib feeding the kids liquid gold. We in a whole different mode. What's up, y'all? Then Bradley's back with another video. And today's video, as you can see from the title, is going to be about how you can protect yourself from what just happened to us, which was fraud. Recently, we were the victims of fraud. Somebody tapped into our bank accounts and unfortunately took a lot of money, which was very troubling, very frazzling, and very frustrating to say the least. We were in a very uncomfortable position to start the new year. And I'll link the vlogs right up here below if you guys haven't seen our previous videos and know what exactly happened. But like my husband said, basically someone stole money out of our bank account. It was quite a bit of money and um, you just feel really violated when something like that happens. Like someone was able to get into your personal account and you just feel very violated. And that's how we feel and are still feeling. And we just wanted to basically tell you guys what happened and then just give you some tips on how you can protect yourself or try to protect yourself the same way we're going to be doing. So if you don't know what happened with us, then you could have already known what happened and get out in front of this by just following us. And all you gotta do to do that is be able to hit that subscribe button right down there below. Don't forget to also like this video if you wanna see more tips and tidbits as far as just everyday life things go. And also, don't forget to share this video so other people can take some insight from the information that we're sharing today. So anybody who's been a victim of fraud or had anything like this happen, you know that this is a very humbling and very demoralizing situation to be a part of. I, we were really shook. This happened on December 31st of 2018 as we were getting ready to bring in the new year. We tapped, I was just so happened to be searching our bank accounts and I seen that somebody had took about $3,000 worth of money from us. And to say the least, I was I don't petrified and thrown back. I can't even, I could name probably about 10, 15 adjectives that would go with, that could describe how I felt at that moment. And the biggest one would be violated. I felt very, very violated. And that $3,000 came after just two days before, no, one day before someone had taken almost $700 from our accounts. So, um, yeah, violated is probably the best word I can say to describe that. The first day, we were thinking, it was a company that we know, a very reputable company. So we were thinking that maybe they just took somebody else's payment and put it on our account. We do have a, a an account with this company. So we thought maybe they just, you know, somebody else paid their simple bill. Error. Yeah, simple clerical error. So we weren't like alarmed the first day. I mean, we were alarmed. It was $700, but we weren't like really shook the first day. We contacted the bank and I mean, they helped us out. Now, the next day, like you said, that was almost $3,000 and that's where things got real and we knew something was terribly wrong. Just giving a little insight into that, like she said, it's a pretty reputable company that the payment was made out of our one account. And then that got me to looking into, basically I say digging into the other account. And I just so happened to see what they call, um, ah, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, trial transactions. That's the thing. It was trial deposits that I seen going into this account and I was like I called her immediately like do you know did you set up anything? Did you Put up any kind of payment or anything like that and she like no I would never do anything that I because this money came out of her savings account and I at this moment I'm instantly I was a little frazzled. I'll say that the day that this happened with the um the reputable company that we're talking about i happened to just start looking into all our accounts and instantly i took all the money out of our savings account and moved it to another account at least so i thought and after we did that then um the next day like we said someone took almost three thousand dollars out of that next account so we have several accounts set up with our bank we told you guys that before um if you want to know actually how we set up our money we have to reorganize our money because of this so we can definitely do a video on that if you would like so give this video a thumbs up and let us know down below but um yeah we have our money set up in different accounts and so we move money from one account to another account thinking okay if something is wrong with this account 
we'll just move it to another account, we'll be fine. Well, the same thing happened the next day to the other two accounts. And it looked like it was going to happen to the fourth account that we had oh with God. that bank as well if we had not immediately called the bank and shut down our transactions. So fast forward to today, the bank has done all the investigations that they need to do. They've closed the case. Basically, they did find out that it was fraud. They don't give you any other information. They just let you know that there was fraud on your account, indeed, and then they gave us all of our money back. So we were made whole, which was nice, but we still wanna make sure that this never happens again, which gets us into the tips and tricks that we have. Well, I should say that we are going to use to make sure that this never happens again, and if it ever happens to you, or if it hasn't happened to you thank god use or start using some of these tips to make sure that it never happens first tip that we have is to make sure that you are monitoring your bank statements all the time we look at our banking a bank account daily just to make sure that everything's looking okay make sure we're staying on track with our budget and we're not spending too much money and um honestly we weren't really looking for fraud we just usually check our bank accounts just to make sure that everything looks right and again we're staying on target for our budget goals so um checking that bank account regularly you will instantly know if a transaction came out that you you did not make most of the most of the time I'm checking the accounts the wife does a budget and I'm just kind of making sure that she stays on budget if y'all know that she got her beauty channel so at times she can veer off of the budget so I just so happened to be this day thank God that I was looking into it and I came across this transaction and I immediately like if you guys know if you follow our channel you know that we communicate each other daily if not hourly about things that we see and this is something I came across and I'm like hey do you have this? And she like, no. And boom, she got on the phone with our bank and I instantly got on the phone with the company that we seen the transaction from. So yes, communication and four set of eyes on your accounts is very, very huge if you got four set of eyes to look at. Something that I have become a fan of that I definitely was not a fan of in the past is passwords, capitalizations, characters, numbers, all that thing that's associated with your password. If you guys are anything like me and work in the corporate work first, uh, if you guys are anything like me and work in the corporate work fair, <laughs> if you guys are anything like me and work in the corporate workforce, then you know that the biggest thing, the biggest pet peeve that you get is every three or six months they tell you, update your password. Change your password. Your password cannot be anything that's been within the past three months. Your password cannot be anything within the past six months. Your password has to have this. Your password has to have that. And you're like, why does my password have to have all these things? And now I completely understand and I am completely on board with it. I have made probably the biggest password change known to man since this thing has occurred. And not only changing your passwords, but also those security questions that they ask you. Something that I learned a long time ago was don't make those predictable either. So when you do have those security questions and they say, what's your mother's maiden name? You don't have to actually put your mother's maiden name. You can put whatever you want. So when they ask you what's your mother's maiden name, you can put red. I mean, it just throws people off. So maybe if someone is trying to hack into your account and they know your mother's maiden name, super easy. They can get right in there. That's easy information to get. But if you just change it up and make it a little different, then no one will know the wiser. Yeah, because I don't know if you guys know this stuff, but there are people who sell that type of information or that you can buy that information online. Like I had no idea. Uh, that you can, there are companies that you can type in, literally they know your last three addresses, they know your mother's maiden name, they know the last two or three cars that you bought or financed or anything like that. And those are part of like some of the screening questions that you get when you go through things where companies are trying to verify or you are who you say you are. And that information is easily accessible. So if they, if they, somebody can ask you that, then somebody can buy that information. So changing that stuff up is huge have is to keep your personal information confidential. Social security numbers, um, credit card numbers, bank account numbers, routing number. well, routing numbers are public information, but um, bank account numbers, any of that stuff, make sure you're keeping it confidential. Don't just have it sitting out in your house. I mean, if you have a visitor come over, somebody can easily look at that information and see it. Make sure you are being confidential with your stuff. And then on top of that, something that we are starting to do is to shred our documents. 
we, I mean, I know, at least for me, I was always like, why do we need to shred documents? I can just tear it up real good, call it a day, shred your documents, shred old credit cards, old debit cards, all of that stuff. You just make sure you run it through the shredder really good so no one can rifle through your trash. And if you only tear it once down the middle, they can't rifle through your trash and put one and one together and then have your information. I know for me, I was always a component of why would somebody want to take my information? Nobody's going to steal my information. I was huge on that. But unfortunately, people prey on anything and they will, the smallest opportunity, they will take advantage of. So you definitely have to protect yourself shredding all personal information. No matter how little you think it is, it's vital. The last tip that we have for you today is to make sure if something like this does happen to you or even if you're just browsing online, you're just browsing your bank statement and you see anything unusual, call your bank immediately. Like immediately. Even if you think you might have made that transaction but you just don't know, contact the bank and have them research it for you. They will do that for you in your account. Just make sure you're constantly on top of it because if it happens to not be your transaction and someone is trying to hack into your account, they have your information. What the wife is saying is factual and we are victims of that and we can attest to that. Back in July, I suspected some suspicious activity on our savings account. I actually called the wife and asked her like, hey, I know you do a lot of transactions with PayPal. I suspected and seen something on our savings account. Do you got anything set up on that? And her, work, her words was, no, I don't have anything set up to come out of our savings account. And I did nothing to check on that. I just was like, okay, but she said it wasn't that. We both use PayPal, PayPal is secure. So all I thought was like, okay, it's fine. And needless to say, I'm pretty confident that the people who took this money from us have been plotting to take this money from us for a pretty long time. And we did nothing to proactive, get out in front of it. So definitely wanna be checking and double checking and triple checking your accounts. Anything that looks suspicious, ask about it. Hell, we give the banks our money, that's their job. They should be able to answer this question. So call with any concerns that you have. Most banking uh, facilities are open 24 hours. And even if you just say, hey, I seen this on my account, I don't know what this is, can you tell me what it is? They'll answer those questions. You gotta be out in front of that stuff. Moving forward, we hope that this video gave you guys some ideas and tidbits that you can do and be proactive and making sure that your accounts are secure and making sure that you're being proactive and making sure that nothing is being taken from you because that is so, you feel so vulnerable when something like that happens and we don't want that to happen to anybody. I completely do not want anybody to feel anything that we just experienced. Like it was really reassuring that our bank gave us the, the peace of mind to let you know Mr. and Mrs. Bradley, you are gonna get your money back. But at the time, all you're thinking is somebody went and they took something that's mine. So I hope that you take something from this video and learn something from it to be able to protect yourself moving forward. Yeah, that's the whole reason we have this channel is hopefully to spread some good knowledge and good vibes and information for you guys. I mean, it happened to us, unfortunately, but hopefully someone watching this video can take something from it and it won't happen to you. Yeah, so that is going to wrap this video up moving forward. It's Mr. and Mrs. Bradley checking out today. If you guys want to see more videos like this or want some more tips on any kind of tips or topics or anything that's just to do with day-to-day -day living, let us know down below. If you guys like this video, let us know down below. If you guys got any tips that you can give to people to help them protect themselves from identity theft or anything like this moving forward, also let that stuff be known down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up on this video if you like the content that we provided today follow us on instagram at life of the bradley yes 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 and until the next video is mr and mrs bradley checking out peace